So Lou <laughs> uh, is saying AMC is going to squeeze again. Um, March 3rd. Is that the date we're going to squeeze, Lou? It's right around the corner. And it's also, that date is before March 14th, the 10 for 1 reverse stock split vote. Well, it's actually not the vote. Excuse me. Let me take that back. It's They're having a meeting about it. Uh, AMC, Adam Aaron, and the board of directors. But the thing is, Lou, you've said this a lot of times. I think you're just doing it for views. I think everybody's just doing it for views. I do not believe AMC is going to have a tremendous squeeze like everybody is saying. I think that AMC might go up a good amount. You know, I, I do believe that. Like I said, I mean, I I would be happy as a dog, you know, with a gigantic bone that, you know, was like a dog in heaven, you know. <laughs> Just give me my porterhouse steak bone. If AMC went even above 10, I would be psyched. If it went, if it went above 20, Man, that would be friggin' phenomenal. But people are making it seem like this thing is going to the moon. This thing is going like I, I there's YouTubers saying a hundred dollars a share, over a hundred dollars a share, and they're saying before March 14th. I mean, I don't know where they're getting this information from. If it's simply clickbait, nothing, at least at least what I'm seeing doesn't support that. But listen, could there be a run? Absolutely. Could there be a run? Sure. And like I said, Eight Father's got a little bit of a new leaf. You know, if I get my money back and I get a nice significant profit, I'd be very happy at this point. And like I said, take my experiences <laughs> that I've learned in the stock market and not repeat the same mistakes, meaning not put all my money into into one stock you know, nah, I'll never do that again. Learn from my mistakes. But I just wanted to be the voice of reason here. I don't want all of you getting excited, putting all your hopes on another Moaz claim by Lou. Because Lou most likely doesn't own Ape, doesn't own AMC, and is doing this for clickbait. You know, his channel is growing, but it's not growing at the pace. Lou had over 80,000 subscribers. You know, Lou was getting a million views a week. So is Lou's uh, motives here sincere or selfish? I'll let you decide that. This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. This video is not legal advice. I'm not an attorney. This video and all my videos are for entertainment purposes only.